Hi guys, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. Today we are going to learn about the Azure Virtual Machine. So, without further ado, let's get started. Before getting in depth, let me tell you what's in store for today. First, I'll be talking a little about Azure. Next, I'll start off by explaining the Azure Virtual Machine. Then, I'll be focusing on few benefits of Azure Virtual Machine. Moving forward, I'll be going in depth with the Azure Virtual Machine components. And finally, we will be looking into a demo on Azure Virtual Machine. All of us may have heard of Azure at one point of time, but what is Azure? Let me explain. Azure is a cloud service created by Microsoft for building, testing and managing applications and many services through the Microsoft data centers. The Azure hosts web applications over the internet with the help of these data centers. Azure is very flexible. It gives an option to have the functionality as required. You can pay as you consume, switch to Azure and accommodate the business fluctuations. There is no need to worry about the infrastructure all the time. Azure is very reliable and has 24-7 tech support. Azure offers pay-as-you-go pricing and hence it is very cost-effective. Staying online all the time ensures customers or users trust. Azure supports backup and disaster recovery tools. Now we know what Azure is and its key benefits. Let's now move on to Azure Virtual Machine. Before that, let's consider a scenario. Rachel had to host 10 virtual machines at once for a project. There was an issue when her computer RAM was not compatible with the instances. The computer RAM was only 8 GB and the instances that required were 10 GB. Then she says, I wish there is a service that's cost effective and also provides extra RAM memory. One of her colleague heard this and he comes up with an idea. He says, can we use Azure virtual machine? It has a pay as you go pricing and has disks for storage. You can pay for what you use and create any number of instances with high storage capacity. Also, if any technical difficulty arises, you can easily retrieve the files through the backup server. So now she's happy and she wants to know more about Azure Virtual Machine. Azure Virtual Machine is one of the wide range of services that Azure offers to create your instance. A virtual machine is a computer file, typically called an image, which behaves like an actual computer. It runs in a window, giving the user the same experience on a virtual machine as they have on the host operating system itself. Multiple virtual machines can run simultaneously on the same physical computer. Each virtual machine provides its own hardware, like CPUs, memories, and other devices. Azure Virtual Machine offers a high range of flexibility, and it maintains the physical hardware that runs on it. Let me explain some of the benefits of Azure Virtual Machine. First, we have easy development and test. Azure Virtual Machine has a quick and easy way to configure the computer that is required to code and test an application. Next, Agility and Scale Azure Virtual Machine is agile and the ability to clone and spin up multiple instances of the same virtual machine allows us to scale services and applications rapidly, efficiently and very cost effectively. Azure Virtual Machine provides enhanced performance. Demands for applications can fluctuate, so you pay for the virtual machines you need and shut down the unnecessary ones to save the cost. Azure Virtual Machines provide extended data center and can be easily connected to an organization's network. It is easy to set up your redundant infrastructure on Azure, and Azure provides a full disaster recovery site at a fraction of the cost. Furthermore, let me explain Azure Virtual Machine components in details. Virtual Machine comes under the compute domain of Azure. It also offers various services like availability sets, snapshots, disks, images, and many other services like hosts. Virtual Machine can be clubbed with other services like disks, images, availability sets, hosts, and many more. So, the first component and the most important component is the operating system. The operating system creates connections to the remote desktop session host. There are many operating systems available like Ubuntu, Red Hat, Linux, Windows Server, CentOS. You can also set the operating disk size so that the memory is not wasted. The next component is disks. Azure Virtual Machines use attached virtual hard disks for storage. There are two types of virtual hard disks. First is an image. It is a template for creation of new Azure Virtual Machine. Then we have disks. It is a bootable virtual hard disk. All durable disks are backed up by page blobs in Azure Storage. Therefore, the disks inherit the benefits of blob storage, high availability, durability, and many more. The disks are mounted as drives on the VM. The next component is Virtual Network. Many components operate the virtual machines in a scalable and secure manner. Virtual networks could include equipment such as separate network spaces for internet-facing and backend servers, 
load balancers, firewalls, and more. Many of these components are deployed into an Azure Virtual Network. Azure Virtual Network provides many features such as subnet, IP address, load balancer, and network security group. Another important component of Azure Virtual Machine is availability sets. If in case there's a slight chance there could be a failure in physical servers, then these come into picture. So in case of such failure, the Azure platform will migrate the failed virtual machine to a healthy host to reconstitute the VM. It is highly recommended to deploy at least two instances of the virtual machine and virtual machines placed on an availability set perform identical set of functionalities. Now that we know what Azure virtual machine is, let's look into the demo. In this demo, first we are going to create a virtual machine, connect it and then create a web server and modify the web server and finally launch the web application. So let's go ahead into the demo now. So the first step is to log into Microsoft Azure with your credentials. Now let's click on virtual machines and create a new one. So I can put add. And you can use the subscription you want, either pay as you go pricing or free tire. Resource group will create a new one that is zero one. Okay, virtual machine we can create. I'm going to use VM web 001. And then region, I'll be using okay, East US. Then image, I'll be using Windows Server R2 data center. Size, I'll be using B1MS. Select username root admin and then password of your choice. And then I'm going to allow selected ports and choose RDB3389 and next. So OS to step, I'll be using standard HDD and then yeah next so i can see a default virtual network and a default submit and public ip as well as default and then next you can allow for auto shutdown but again it's entirely your choice i'm going to select an extension to install and i'm going to install microsoft anti-malware Create, okay. I'm going to create a few tags now. Let's go ahead with it. So I've created five tags. Now review plus create. Okay, so everything seems good. Let's create now. So the deployment is going to take a few minutes. Let's wait for it. Okay, so that's done. Now let's go to virtual machine and see our virtual machine. Okay, so it's been deployed. Now let's get into the virtual machine and copy the IP address. Then hit Windows plus R and open MSTSE and paste the IP address and connect. Let's use a different account. You have to use the administrator account that we created before with the same password. Click OK. Now the remote desktop session host opens. The next step is to click on server manager and add rules and features. Click on next. Select role based or feature based installation and click on next. Then select the virtual machine you've created and next and then we are going to select 
web server iis next sorry next okay so it's already installed my computer but you have to install this then let's close this and open internet explorer let's type in http localhost yeah so now we can see the default browser opening let's minimize this and let's try it here here you have to just put the ip address i think there's an issue okay so let's add an inbound port networking select networking and add inbound port let's move port 80 and add okay so it's added now let's go and refresh it Now we can see the default web browser opening. So the next step is to modify the web browser. Let's go ahead with that. Go back to your remote session host. Let's go file explorer. So certain folders are created in the C drive. Let's open that. It would be under inetpub. So this is where the default browser is coming from. Now let's make a new text document. Open that and put Hello. Welcome to this demo by simply Learn. Save it. Close it. Let's rename this as index dot ht. Well, so this is a text document. So we need to change that. Let's remove this. Okay, that's done. Now let's go back to our Internet Explorer and hit F5. Let's refresh this. Let's try now. Okay, so let's. Yeah, so it's done. Now let's go back to the previous browser and try. Let's refresh. Yeah, that's done. Now we have reached the end of this tutorial. First, we saw what is Azure. Then we went through the Azure Virtual Machine and its key benefits. And then we saw Azure Virtual Machine components. And finally, a demo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.